Hey guys, this is Epson Workforce Pro WFM4119. I'm going to show you how to connect this printer to Wi Fi network. To connect this printer to Wi Fi network, you need to go to use the side button, go to Wi Fi network, and select OK. It will give you option Wi Fi recommended and Wi Fi direct. So select Wi Fi recommended, select OK, then start setup then you select ok then the first option is wi-fi setup wizard or push button setup wizard so select wi-fi setup wizard select ok now it's searching for available network here we go so it picked up the network available select scroll down to select the network that is available or you select the network select ok for the network now the next is you need to enter the password you select ok then you type the password details so i have the password for the wi-fi network we're going to use and this is also case sensitive so use up or down or side button for you to select the particular alphabet you want to select so select once you select the alphabet, then you select OK. Then you go to the next one. Select OK. Select OK. Scroll down. Select OK. Then if you want to change the number, then you scroll down, go to the side and select the number, select OK. Then it will bring out the number for you to select the number you want to se select. Select OK. Then you go again, scroll down to select ABC, scroll down. If you want to use capital letter, then use up, you will see up arrow select up arrow select on it then it give you capital letter for you to select if you want to redo lower it select the upper again to lower it then you go up again to select the next number you next character Then once you're done, go to the end, select OK, and scroll down to select Start, Start Setup. Now it's connecting to wireless router. Here we go, setup complete. So you may need to do this twice. If from the screen you will see the Wi Fi network is connected and it's highlighting blue. So Wi Fi Direct is not connected and this is the Wi Fi network, it's highlighting blue. Then you can go back to the home. If you want to print out, now it's asking up us about update. Go to select dismiss, firewall update, dismiss. So this is how to connect this printer to Wi-Fi network. I'm going to show you how to connect this printer to Wi-Fi Direct. Yes! Wi-Fi Direct is without wireless network. We connected this printer 
to Wi-Fi network. But now I want to show you how to connect this printer to Wi-Fi direct without network for you to be able to use this printer. What you need to do is use the side button, go to Wi-Fi and select OK. Then you will see network connection setting. The first option is Wi-Fi recommended. The second one is Wi-Fi direct. So scroll down to Wi-Fi direct, select OK. Now the next is start setup, select OK. Now it's setting up. We see the printer model name, see description, method. You scroll down, it give you the Wi-Fi direct information. And also you scroll down, device name. Connection type, okay. Scroll down, select complete. Now, this printer is connected to Wi Fi Direct. You will see once it's connected, you will see the blue. It will highlight Wi Fi Direct is highlighting blue. If we connect this printer to Wi Fi Network, it will highlight blue. So, it's currently highlighted. Wi Fi Direct is highlighted, highlighted in blue color. Then, we go back to home page. So once you connected this printer to Wi-Fi Direct, the next thing you need to do, you need to use the side button, go to settings, select OK, then select general settings, select OK, then you scroll down to network settings, select OK. You will see Wi-Fi setup, wired LAN setup, network status, select network status, select OK, wired LAN Wi-Fi status, Wi-Fi direct statue or print statue sheet. So select Wi-Fi direct statue. Now select the following ICD using smart device. So it will show you the statue and also the password. So the password is also available here. So you can clearly see the network name, which is Epson WF is the network I network SSID name and also the password so to connect this with your mobile phone what you need to do is then you need to go to your settings go to connections select Wi-Fi then it will start to look for available Wi-Fi network here we go so it found direct Epson M119 select on it now we need to enter the password then you look on the printer screen for the password so we have the information here if you if you lost this then you can go back again to the settings select ok general settings select ok go to network settings select ok wi-fi direct or network status select ok so select print status sheet select okay select okay so now this printer is going to print status sheet Now, this is the document you printed out. There we go. So, this status sheet got the Wi Fi direct password. Once you print, you can also cancel this. We already have the information here. The reason why I'm printing the status sheet is so we printed out the status sheet. So I'm going to cancel it. So we have printed out the status sheet. So the Wi-Fi direct SSID is here and the password. You can also see this from the printer. Sometimes it will go off, you will miss the information. So ideally it's for you to print out the Wi-Fi direct password status sheet. So once you printed out Wi-Fi direct status sheet, you're able to put see the password. So I'm going to type the password now.
then select connect checking the quality of the internet you will see internet may not be available select connect always connected without internet so now this printer is connected with this phone without internet if you want to print out documents from the phone then you go to wherever you save your document select my file select the document you want to print out then select gently tap on it select print then scroll down from the list and look for Epson printer then select print There we go. Printing complete. So this is how to connect this printer to Wi-Fi Direct and also print document from your mobile phone if you want to connect it to your laptop you need to go to your laptop network management in your laptop internet access so select internet access then you select the network manage wi-fi connections and you will see the direct it will show you the printer information direct epson wf m4119 series you select on it then it will ask you to connect automatically or so the next you need to do is you need to select do not connect automatically remove connect automatically then select connect it will ask you enter network security key then we'll put the password we printed out earlier so i'm just gonna type the information then you select you can also select i sign at the end for you to see the information if you if it is correct just double checking the information and now happy with it so select next so it's checking now the network information here we go no internet secure so now this printer is connected to wi-fi direct with the laptop and it's showing us here no internet secure now if you want to print out document from the laptop to this printer then you need to go to wherever you save your document so go to wherever you save your document then go to my documents or download double click the document you want to print out so this is today is a good day it's just a single page document now to print this document out select printer icon on top or you select control plus p from the keyboard you need to also select the correct printer go from the settings scroll down and look for this printer this printer is epson workforce so scroll down and look for this from the list if you cannot find it then you can also select add a printer it will take you to the settings then you need to select add a printer on top so add a printer it will start to look for available printer here we go epson workforce printer wfm119 you need to select add it add device now it's connecting the printer is ready so now this printer is ready then you go back to your document you want to print out double click it now to print this document you select ctrl p or select the printer icon on top then you scroll down and look for this printer from the list here we go is the first on the list select and select the print now this document is printing
very quick printing complete so this is the document today is a good day this is the document we printed from the laptop to this printer via wi-fi direct i'm going to show you how to connect this printer to your laptop with usb cable this printer you can connect it to your laptop with wi-fi direct wi-fi network and with usb cable usb cable is not included in the packaging so what i want to do now is to show you how to set this up to your laptop via usb cable first of all if you scroll to the side and go to wi-fi network both wi-fi network and wi-fi direct are off if any of them is connected they will highlight dark blue so both of them are gray in color they are not connected so we're going to connect this using usb cable so the next thing you need to do is we need to go to the back of the printer take the usb cable plug it on to the usb you will see where it's written usb so to plug the cable on one end to the printer and the other end to the laptop you will hear a noise to show you that it's recognized now the next thing we need to do is we need to go to epson.co.uk or epson.com so go to epson website in your country so go to epson.co.uk select epson then you need to select support then scroll down and type your printer name wf m 4119 DW and this is the printer here then you select install driver select download then the driver is downloaded then you need to select it will show you done then double click it to open then select yes do you want to allow this app select yes then select ok select ok now agree to terms and condition select ok printer driver installation and port configuration we are completed successful then you select ok then you go to the settings Go to printers and scanner. Then you see the printer. Epson Workforce Series is available. Then you select on it. Showing us printer is idle. Print test page. Here we go. Now this printer is printing documents. You have Correctly install your Epson WFM4119 series and you check port USB 028 raw data. So this is how to connect this printer with your laptop using USB cable. And this is the cable here connected together via USB cable. Um, we printed our document and also printed out the information window printer test page to confirm that this printer is connected via usb cable if you're happy with this tutorial please do me a favor like share and subscribe it help the channel thank you very much indeed and stay blessed